I am so incredibly sorry, Gertrude. I can only imagine the pain you must be feeling at this time. The pain of losing your son. Hamlet never deserved what happened to him. I can arrange for Laertes to be killed or sent away. I'm so sorry, Gertrude. But it's gonna be swell, that's it. Let it out. Be strong, just as you were for my innocent brother's death. This pain will pass. You can do it. Oh, that's it. A bit of a smile. How about a kiss? Oh, am I pushing it? <laughs> Now you need some rest, my wife. I'll see you in the morning when you're feeling better. I love you. Good night. I hope she is... I hope she is foolish enough to even entertain that thought. Why, it is a lie, but then again, she believed our wedding vow, so I'm sure she will. I am so bewildered by her incompetence. Honestly, how did she think her husband died? Stupid woman, needing a man, of course. And her son. For heaven's sake, don't get me started on the maddest of them all. I've wanted him dead for so long, and now, because of his own laughable actions, I have the opportunity of a lifetime. <sighs> Luckily, Polonius' death happened at just the right time, but not only his physical death, but much rather the despair that has brought on both Ophelia and Laertes. And better yet, because of Hamlet's direct actions, Ophelia has passed now too. Oh, I cannot thank Hamlet enough for giving me the most faultless plan to kill him. As there once was a time that the people loved him, but now he's mad, making a fool of himself, threatening the queen, murdering Polonius, even driving Ophelia to the point of suicide. Why, nobody would even miss him. It would be as if I'm taking a weight off Denmark's shoulders. Oh, how faultless thy plan is. And now the smug Laertes will be my man, the pawn in my fateful game. The despair that these Hamlet-driven tragedies have brought upon Laertes does bring me utmost delight as he was lucky enough to find the poison, but now foolish enough to use it. And as if he fell right into my web and now he's stuck. No way out, just the way it should be, or just the way it is. And now, thanks to Hamlet, nobody is left to threaten my kingdom. I mean, Laertes had me scared when I heard the people were chanting his name. However, Hamlet was at fault, and thus I have no fear, for the sharp poison sword isn't after me, but much rather Hamlet, oh, he shall see. Now Hamlet will follow in his father's deathly footsteps. For guilt has searched and found me once, bringing me to my knees in the church. But I know there is no place for me there. Judgment is inevitable, but nevertheless, I'm not ashamed for that one audacious risk that I took has now paid off. For nobody in this God-forsaken country would ever be man enough to do what I do, or to have done what I have done, for Denmark will never have a king as exceptional as me. If only I had known that these series of events would come from that one fateful poisoning. If only I had known why I'd do it all over again. I'm not a monster, but merely a man. For I was in the church once, but in light of this I do see thy vile words without thoughts, reflecting upon my shameful sin. But in four hours the fight will begin, and I will be left victorious in the throne with not a threat in sight. Even Norway showing weakness in their absence for only four hours left, until that grotesque, mad, demented son of mine will be gone. Should I count down the seconds? Why do that when I could have some fun with Gertrude before the duel? For only four hours left, until I am left, victorious on my throne, with not a threat in sight, for I am Claudius, King of Elsinore. Thank you.